Good evening, Raiders fans and Washington Parish football fans, high school football fans. We're here tonight in what's being branded, though unofficially, the Washington Parish Championship between Bogalusa and Pine. We're about to have the national anthem and prayer. We'll step away. We'll be back just as soon as those things have taken place. Enjoy watching. Rifle Cadet Sergeant Sister Terry and Jim Lauderdale, American Color Duty Cadet Captain Tyler Green, Louisiana State Color Sergeant Sister Deidre, Trial Rifle Cadet Sergeant Joey Knight. Dude, that's somebody live singing that? She checks all the boxes, dude. Father God, we thank you for this occasion, Lord. We thank you for all the family and friends that came today for this homecoming. And we ask, Lord, just make it a good game. Make, make sure everybody get home safely back to their destination. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. We want to thank the Bogles, the high school club students. Zaria Andrews and Stephen Franklin for the anthem and the prayer under the direction of Miss Dawn Porter. I got it to where it won't never, the screen won't ever go blank and I'm gonna pull them rosters up. That's the only thing.
Oh, down there in the uh, south. Uh, that school way the hell down there that they made after Katrina. Display and brightness. Lumberjack Nation would like to thank the Simpson staff and congratulate Superintendent Curtis as being our 2023 homecoming marshal. Also, we'd like to thank Mr. Chad Harris and Ms. Tanisha Johnson for co-chairing the homecoming committee. Thank you for a job well done all week. South Swack. We're recovered by the Lumberjack. It's first and ten. All right, folks, we've had the kickoff. I know you've seen that on Live Action Network, but we're just now putting on the microphone. We're here live high atop Mac Barlow Stadium and Lewis V. Murray Field in Bogalusa. I'm Mr. Positive Jeff McKelvin along with Clay Morgan and very, very special guest commentator, notable uh, Pine uh, High alumnus, Mr. Lane Thomas. Lane, thanks for joining us tonight. Glad to be here. From our vantage point, it's exactly the same vantage point that you have watching at home. We're high atop the Mac Barlow Stadium, but it's a great uh, vantage point to watch the plays develop. I'm looking forward to watching this game. Ashton Levi is the quarterback. Going to get to see him. We're going to get to see him do what he does. He's the he's been the starter for four years. I saw him when he was a freshman playing against Franklin, and, and he was absolutely brilliant. You see what he does. He'll scramble out of the pocket, and if the uh, defense comes up to uh, make a play on him, it's going to leave somebody open, or vice versa. He is a master of the broken play, and one of the top quarterbacks in the state. Flag on that play as he, uh, that was Ashton Levi, decided not to give it to the tailback, kept it himself. Nice little run, put a nice little sidestep move, but flag on the play. What do we know about Ashton Levi, Clay? Oh, uh, he's uh, something to come on this year. Yeah, well, it just depends on how much uh, help he's got. Uh, he's been brilliant. Last year, Bogalusa made uh, made a lot of uh, headlines because of their play. Trey Michael McGee doing a good job making them go outside. That looked like number 23, Christian Williams, along with 44, Ethan Rawls. Lane Christian Williams is uh, no no a, a sophomore, number 23, and that's our executive producer, Prince Raymond Williams, 15. and his wife, Tweety, that's their son. He's, put one, he's one of the top sophomores uh, anywhere. He was in the ninth grade last year at Bowling Green, and he was a starter uh, and, a, and a fantastic uh, starter. A lot of heat put on the quarterback. Pass is incomplete. Pass intended for Aiden Sampson. Lane, that's Zachary Thomas on the uh, 
coverage there, number three. I mean, not only coverage, but putting the heat on the quarterback. Yeah. I say every week, if you want to make your defense uh, positions all better, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Oh, yeah. That's the number one. Levi has a little time this time. Thomas almost got him. The escapism. Number two, Peanut. Goes airborne. Makes a great play on the ball. Thomas Bernard, number two, the six foot one junior. He's a six foot one junior defensive back, number two. And he is extremely quick, uh, Lane. Uh, and then uh, their defense, uh, Lane, I'm going to describe it how I describe it to everybody else. They've got a bunch of kids that are dang good at high school football, and that will put it on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, not take a look. Well, we got a bunch. That's a, no punt. Well, that's what makes him not just a, a running quarterback. You know, he, he's not just the old country style Bogalusa athlete that can really take off with it. He looks for the receipt. He truly does. And then he put it in his pocket. I know last year, Mr. Arata, one of our sponsors, Bill Arata, whose son, uh, George, plays for Tulane. Tulane, yeah, running back there. Tulane. He said that the coach at Tulane was really interested uh, in Ashton Levi. Zachary Thomas goes from his end position, rides the, the, the running back down. But uh, and, uh, I think uh, Mr. Uh, Bill Arata was going to try to make sure he got his ACT where it needed to be, so on and so forth. Suppose that don't work out. I still think he could have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to tell you what. If you're uh, the coach of a junior college or a small college and you cannot uh, have him help your offense, you're not a very good coach, dude, or either you've got a legendary team. Yeah. What down and what's our down and distance? I can't even see. Michael Burton, right up the middle. Third and three. Third down and three. But what I was talking I'm about when I was saying that a uh, bunch of guys that are darn good at high school football, they've got some really big guys. And they've got some uh, medi medium size, but they're all the high school kid that will tear your sternum out of your chest. You know what I'm saying? Most teams have. Oh, one or two. Robert I'd say from the starting team. 11, they probably got 13 that play like that. Tonight. You know, whenever your team in high school, whatever, plays like that, you're going to play like that. If the guys above you that year, though you were a freshman, uh, were vicious, man, I mean, you're going to do that too. So, uh, that, but they don't get very many penalties. They're great kids. I don't have anything to do with it. We're talking about on the football field. They will get after you. Ethan Rawls, uh, he was uh, saying a little something. His dad was like, man, I can't believe it. You talk about Ethan Rawls. You say he's a beautiful uh, child. And, but uh, he played with Maverick and stuff when he was about seven. And I hadn't seen him until the last couple of years. So to me, I always think about him like that. Trying to get a receiver off the field, number 16. 15, 14 seconds on the play clock. Plenty of time. Third and three. Levi's going to try it up the middle, but he's going to have somebody hanging around his waist. Ethan Rawls, Ethan Rester. Who was it came in there first and got him around the waist? Oh, Clay, I couldn't make it out either. 
came from the end. I think that might have been Ethan Rester, number five. Okay, now the play. Came around from the Bring end, man. Down. He is quick. You know, whenever a player plays like that, I like to refer to him as a catch dog. Because when they let when they turned loose with his collar over here on the side, he went and got that tailback. Fourth and four, they go in for it. Got to get him. Ball's loose. It's touchdown. Oh, okay. Number two, Ashton Levi for the touchdown. Yeah. I know sometimes you can hear at home the PA announcer, but uh, that's just all part of the experience. And if we were in a booth enclosed, that'd be great. But on Live Action Network, you get the experience. And, and one of the things I miss, Lane, when I'm watching an LSU game on TV is uh, the, guy in the, and the guy in the stadium, the PA guy in that stadium. We got a 6 0 score to 7 10 left in the first quarter. That's Locked. a block. Locked. Locked extra point. Byron Jackson. That's Stogner, number 16. Look at that. Take a 6 to nothing lead. Caden Stogner, number 40. Oh, he is a sophomore, ain't he? Yeah, he's a sophomore. He is like top tackler on punt and uh, kickoff coverage, and he's probably the lead. Well, today I asked, uh, you, you could see it on the show, I asked yesterday, and I think he might be the lead tackler. I mean, he is a hard charger, man. You know the type. On that drive, Levi was two for five passing, 34 yards. For the Had two big number seven, rushes, DJ Garrett. seven yards and a touchdown. Two for two on fourth down. He's a sophomore. They've got him listed six foot even. He probably weighs 200 pounds. Man, look, you can play football at that size. He'd been the biggest, one of the biggest players that, uh, on the team at first. Huh? Onside kick to start the game. Worse, they're going to kick this one shallow. Aiden McIntosh to Apple. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you look out there, you know, obviously, first time I saw him play, I'm like, man, I'm going to tell you, Caden uh, Stogner plays a lot like I feel like I hope I did. And I'm like, man, I mean, it just proves I could probably, you know, I thought he's a feisty little dude or whatever. Dude, he's six foot tall, 190, man. Uh, you or I, dude, we yeah. still put on a show, but we were extremely small, dude. I was five, seven, three quarters, 138 pounds. They probably don't have one. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm for the Raiders all the way. Live action network roll where it rides the red horse, baby. First of all, uh, personal foul. Jack. Personal foul. Yeah, that's Farmer Jack. We'll take it. 15 yard penalty. Whatever it was that they're do that happened on that play, they've been doing it all night. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool hand Luke, dude. Ready. I want you to observe how much poise this four year starter has at quarterback, Luke Spears. Aiden McIntosh, he's the leading rusher according to the numbers from Far the uh, Raiders. As I see Trey Michael McGee get up off that pile. Sure, Good job the getting out in front of the tailback. But anybody would play. think that Von Johnson had the most. Move. Even Bradley was surprised. So they don't necessarily even have to try to feature one person. Oh, they have several. But the one that really made the headlines this year is number eight.
Von Johnson picks up about three or something like that on the left side. Yes, sir. Jackson, eighth attempt to earn the stop. You can see the offensive line number 78 to start with. The big center. Kale Temples, he's a senior. He's 6'3", 330. Lane, that's a big center. And they said he's an excellent center and a 4.0 student. Spears runs out of time right there as he tried to float toward the sideline buy himself a little time, try to maybe give somebody a chance to chase the defender, get open, but I don't know if he could have got rid of the ball. I'm not really going to yeah. second guess because uh, uh, that's like, oh, he had all day, man. That happens so fast. Oh, yeah. You go from thinking, I might be able to get this off until he's got his hands on me. There was two straight games that they never punted that uh, Clay and I did. Nice Very punt. Good punt. Pretty good spiral on that punt. That's it by Byron Jackson. Jackson take over first and ten. Let's give that Will shoot. On a big He's a senior. Top. Number 45, the punter. Thank you. His name is Will Shook. S-H-O-O-K. If he ever goes into the rock star business, man, they can do something with that name. You know? Like Eddie Money. Who would have thought his last name would be Money? And then they added Eddie, and that made it perfect. <laughs> and number 77 on the defensive line. Lirion Hart, he's a sophomore. He's six feet. He lives, oh, that's Raymond's nephew. Christian Williams gets there, uh, finally, and makes the tackle. Big game. Trey Michael McGee breathing down on the quarterback's neck. Williams. Well, yeah, Bogalusa's got a good uh, crowd. It's homecoming for Bogalusa. Six zero, four thirteen left in the first quarter. It's like somebody's going to call a timeout. Let me tell you, uh, both of you, something. When you score six points uh, against Pine, that could very well cost you the game because Pine's a uh, kicker. And, uh, you know, consider how much Pine has scored this year. A lot, averaging 40-some-odd points a game or whatever. Oh. Uh, Their place kicker, A.J. Warren. I missed one game, the Pearl River game. I also uh, covered the playoff game last year. I've never seen him miss a PAT. Have you, uh, Clay? I observed pregame warm-ups, too, from both teams. I think Pine has the edge. Now, he don't get out there at the 50 and ram them through, you know, end over end. But you put him uh, at the PAT, which is the most important oh, thing. Yeah. Dude, I don't see how he don't have a bad swing. At least once in a while, he yeah. never does. I'm so confident that I don't even think you can jinx him by talking about it. Second down, one yard to go for the Jackson. Need a turnover, Lane. That's why you play that. Ethan Rester, man, look, he's one of those guys. He plays out here on the edge. Oh, uh, 
Burton on the carry. He, he's, he's one of those guys that you can relate to. Uh, they've got him at 5'9", and he's probably 200 pounds. But uh, third down three here, we need to hold him. He is very quick. He's got enough speed till they play him out here. He, he covers receivers sometimes. And he's extremely uh, aggressive. Third and three. Got a shoulder in him, I'm sure that's first down. Sauron Jackson on the carry. Gain of about five yards on the play. It's first and twenty. Lane needs that mic. No, you're talking, he's over here writing stuff down. It's important because uh, the statistics are important. The stuff we're saying, we're making most of it up. <laughs> we want the statistics to yeah. speak for themselves. <laughs> Got the four receivers out to the right. Completes it. Another very accurate, perfect pass. Michael Martin yeah. on the reception. Hits number nine, Johnny Madrid, right in the midsection yeah. with the ball. In full gallop. Yeah. Oh, you know, somebody else that'll, he's extremely, Accurate. I mean, Steve McNair had that ability to do either one, and then uh, he's strong. Good. <laughs> Golly, man! No. Oh. Uh, if you ever stop and consider how good all 32 of those are, oh. hip ball or oh, high punt. Leave oh. ball intercepted. Hip ball picked off. Yeah, big play. Number ten. We needed that. DJ Garrett. He is a star, yep. man. Yep. DJ Garrett. He's a junior, and he's a six footer. The old tip and drill. Probably 160. Uh, yeah. Lane. Uh, they didn't have numbers on, and I told you how good uh, James Owens was. And you came and watched the game, and you thought it was D.J. Garrett. Yeah. You'd become way impressed. I mean, at yeah. times, he's money, man. He yeah. is money. And all of these are receivers for five. Number 16, Preston Stogner. He is money. Stogner's out. Just a little bit too much. Yeah. James Owens trying to get him out on the corner. Trying to make it a foot race. Yeah. If it's a foot race, only James Owens, number eight, can win. I gave him a nickname at the beginning of the year, and that never occurred to me that nobody would know uh, what I meant. I nicknamed him Buck Owens, man. <laughs> Buck Owens. And well, nobody knew who Buck Owens even was. Everybody's not as old as you are. I know, but <laughs> still. Around Dave the right McIntosh. side. Third down. Yeah, McIntosh. Oh. What are we going to do here now? McIntosh is six foot even, 195. Yeah. I mean, that oh, nice size high school running back. All right, third and seven here, big play. Need a first down. 124 left in the first quarter. Spears from under center. Ugh. Oh, he threw it a little bit low right there. Oh, yeah. He, was, he, he was open. Yeah, he underthrew him. Good, good route. That, yeah. It was a good route by the receiver. Just underthrew him a little bit. Yeah. DJ Garrett did a nice job of selling the goat. And then he turned around and made yeah. a quick U turn. And I don't we know if that it. ball might yeah. have came out of his hand wrong or something. Ty's going for it here. Fourth and seven. On the 22 yard line. Spears makes that throw 99 times out of 100. 
see what he can do here. Big play here. He fumbles the snap, picks it up, throws it. Doggone it. He had DJ Garrett yeah, in traffic, but I'm telling you right now, oh, behind him. Let's give that Jack defensive unit our hand. Who was that that was years. behind him, number uh, uh, 11 or 10? I don't know, but we... I don't know. That's number 10 down. That's number 10 down. Well, uh, I should know it's not 10. Yeah. But anyway, was wide open a uh, little bit further downfield, and I almost thought he might have a chance at that Jason. tipped ball. Yeah. I'd like to give a big shout-out to our first quarter Yeah, sponsor, that was a... Big uh, Chris Trucking, LLC, owned by Mr. That was an unsuccessful drive right there. I mean, there'd be no other way Bradley will be able to look at it. And uh, whatever the reasons, I mean, uh, got to flush it and come back next time. Well, planning on being Pine Raiders because uh, what is it now, Clay? Talk to. 30 yards rushing. Three yards rushing. Three yeah. yards of total yeah. offense. I'd like to give a big shout out to Kirk Lambert of 1990. Welcome home. Well, I guess we moved the ball only on penalties and stuff. Well, I guess, are you figuring the sacks as a negative or, or whatever? Ashton Levi's got a first down. Sets up Scott. At around the 19, set of runs of six lane. Three yard gain? Yeah. I'm looking at the numbers yeah. wrong. Yeah. Look. Second and seven. Damon would always have to calculate because my brain does a lot of stuff. But I cannot calculate. If you throw it from the 20 to the 35, I have no idea. Oh. My Aunt Beulah mate taught me fourth grade math, and she did a pretty good job. Yeah, but like Damon Smith can immediately tell you how far it was. <laughs> Caden Stogner, nice job, textbook tackle. You can see number 40, he's a sophomore. You could see there that he's uh, six foot uh, 190. Yeah. I mean, he was strong on that bulldog. Bogalusa doing a good job moving yeah. the ball. Third hey. and three here. We got a big play. We need to stop them. Uh, that's the end of the first quarter. End of the first quarter. End of the first quarter. One so quarter. Under our belt. Yeah. Yeah. We want to thank our sponsors, even though Raymond will be moving them, uh, putting them on the uh, screen from time to time. Ryan Seal, he's in the runoff for our parish president. Jenkins Paving and Asphalt. Jenkins Paving and Asphalt's owned by uh, LJ, the quarterback at Bo uh, Bowling Green, his mom and dad. His name's Larkin Jr. His dad's Larkin uh, Jenkins. And they're good folks, but I really uh, got pretty close to LJ last year, and I won't tell the whole bunch. Good luck in the playoffs. Oh, they've had a great season this year. Yeah. I got a big game coming up. I yeah. think they all got a bye week this got week. Got a bye, I and then uh, if they win two yeah. playoff games. But those are a great bunch of kids. I've been around them for a few years. Raymond has two, and uh, uh, they ha they're having a lot of fun. Seventy yards total offense, Bogalusa. Third and three here, Bogalusa. Johnny Coming Madrid has right ball. Yeah. First down, Bogalusa. Good hard running. Pick up about seven. Kevin Williams is first and ten. Jack. Those numbers are hard to read on that jersey like that. That would probably they even be hard, illegal. Yeah. Uh, by LHSAA standards. Caden Stogner. 
hits Johnny Madrid in the backfield. I think they're going to call it down. Look, the tailback. is ex exceptionally tough to bring down. Yes. No, because, uh, see, I can't even tell you what number he is. <laughs> you know, but the gold helmet. Yeah. Oh, if they had a white number on that, yeah, I would love that. Dark jerseys, dark numbers. But it reminds me a lot of a uniform that, like, Army uh, yeah. Oh, yep. has worn. I love that uh, style. Complete pass. Yeah, that's not going to be considered a backwards pass where it would be a fumble. Pass but incomplete. Technical or Michael Burke. Incomplete. Third and eight here. Bit another big play. Raiders need to stop them. It's still 6 0, 10 45. Left before halftime, this game's going by slow, especially compared to last Friday night. Yeah. Quarterback scramble left. Nice job, Throws Marion. Down. Incomplete, underthrew him. He was wide open, though. Yeah, yeah, but I'll tell you what, he's got... Oh, he open. had hands in his face, so Lirion Hart did a great yes, job, good job getting back there. The big guy. Just a sophomore. He and Chris are related somehow. Uh, Christian, but uh, look, he's got a lot of quickness, and he's a football player. Sound like Pines, a fairly young team. Uh-oh, fake. Mishandled the punt, oh. mishandled the snap. Gets off a punt that goes far right. I'm not sure that wasn't going to be a fake punt, but I ain't, maybe it was. Just, I don't know if they just mishandled it. He shanked that further right than Dick Cheney, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, old Greg Crane used to say <laughs> stuff like that when you're playing golf. <laughs> if you'd shank one or whatever old Greg Crane would say, shank, rattle and roll. <laughs> you know. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, six zero all the time in the world. Ball at the forty yard line. Pine has had time or two to feel out the opponent. There should be a plan to set it down. Gain of three. And look, you can do that uh, for the rest of the game. Yeah, I believe we got four on that, actually. Yeah, and win the game. But you can't have any penalties, you yeah. can't have any turnovers. But you, can, if you could do that play yeah. every time, no penalties, no turnovers, you'd win the state championship. We can get four yards of play, we good. We'll take it. That's right, I win your state championship. Brody Thomas. Going back. Oh, don't. Lord have mercy. Go. Well, let's go. Well, we'll take it. Big play right there. Hey, you got to give it to Luke Spears right you there give it to, him, uh, yeah. to have the arm strength. He's got it. Uh, yeah, that's a heck to of a throw. even make the throw because he was backpedaling yeah. pretty much. Two back across the field, losing ground. He was wide open. Yeah, but I always say if he's throwing to one of his receivers, one of his main receivers, he'll put it out there for grab because he knows they're either yeah. going to catch it or defend that yeah. ball. Football's on the ground. Fumble. Aiden McIntosh had a big game. Who's that? 28, 29. Yeah. That's Aiden McIntosh. Tailback. 
That was a great run, but that was a great play by the defensive back coming up behind him. That's what I was sitting here looking for. Knocked the ball loose. Dyron Jackson, he's a junior. Bogalusha recovers on the three yard, four yard line. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I want to know who, who that guy is. That yeah, was a that big play. That was a great uh, play by, by Bogalusha. And, and at a crucial time, the game is uh, on the line right there. I mean, that's first down. Big play. Pines uh, do anything they want to do. All of a sudden, it's 7-6. You're down. That was a huge play in the game. Nine minutes. McIntosh uh, or uh, Ashton Levi is going to be backed up. In his end zone. Shotgun. Back to throw. Throw way downfield. The receiver's wide open. Now look. Just, just overthrew him. Now look, uh, the crowd is a nice Bogalusha crowd, <laughs> and they're loud. Yeah. And that play in this stadium, being up so high, was like a play you'd see at Southeastern or yeah. something. Oh, yeah. He threw that thing pretty much uh, yeah. sidearm uh, 60 yards in the that, air. That, that, that was a Saturday throw. Yeah. That's what yeah, it felt that was like. was a Saturday throw. Yeah, it felt like being a uh, Southeastern game or something. I'm encouraged to see the big crowd. At, huge, uh, huge crowd, B both sides. Levi with a little misdirection. Up the sideline, finally pushed out of bounds by a Levi on the pitch, a great run around right Number here. Number two, Thomas Bernard. It's first and ten, Jack. Yeah, and, and you can tell Levi is really a quarterback. I mean, he's not out of control or, you know, making uh, rookie mistakes. Even though he's a four-year starter in high school, you know what I'm saying when I say uh, going out of bounds when he should try to stay in. He don't do any of that. He understands the quarterback position. Best thing about him, he won't be back next year. Yes. <laughs> Quarterback keeper, round the right. Oh man, look. Well, Caden Stockton, about as good as I've seen on uh, in Washington Parish this year uh, uh, as a high school defender. And look, uh, that would be called breaking your ankle. Well, in basketball. I, yeah, I think it's jock strap on the field, too. Dude, <laughs> let me tell you right now. That was now, a great man. play by that quarterback. <clears throat> That's just another thing in his repertoire, my brother. I mean, he <laughs> sold that. So good, man. He looked like Barry Sanders on that play. That would work on anybody, man. Look, oh, <laughs> just for all the guys that are watching, uh, so you can uh, give him a good ribbon. Oh. He put Caden Stogner on a poster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the coach always says, you know, watch his belt buckle, and that'll tell you everything. Yeah. Dude, I bet you he's got some kind of way of doing it with his belt buckle going the other way or something. He's good. Well, Lewis got a penalty, actually. It's coming back. So first and 15. Nice little breeze. Levi talking to the men on either side of him. Fakes the inside handoff, keeps yep. it himself. Look, he told something to the guys on both sides of him, and I think it was something yep. akin to this. I'm going to be keeping it myself a lot tonight. <laughs> I'm going to be keeping it myself a lot tonight. You know, just so they won't be surprised when it happens. I don't think the coach minds when he keeps it. Heck no. What could he be telling both of those guys before a play where he keeps the ball, designed to run? Yep. I don't get it. All right, gain of six here, second and four. Around the left side, 
First down. You know, the reason the big crowd, the nice band, and the, uh, and the nice uniforms and the whole bit for Bogalusa, Cyril Crutchfield took over as the coach just a few years ago. And uh, he was a big time hire. He won two state championships at uh, South Plaquemine. Wow. And, uh, oh, his resume is brilliant. Dyron Jackson, that was a heck of an offensive play. Yes, it was. You know, uh, uh, he's the same guy that caused the fumble yeah, down. Okay, yeah. That's a good yeah, night. He's, he's a heck of an athlete. That's a good night. Good football player. Quarterback keeping it around the left. No gain. Nice play right there. Mill. Caden Stockner threads the play out. That was Ethan Rester came up and made the tackle. Yet 5'9", Rester's uh, carrying a pretty good bit of uh, body weight, momentum wise. Not excess weight, but uh, He's only 5'9", but uh, uh, he's a stud out there on, on yeah. defense. In high he's school. having a good night. Quarterback back to throw. Throws it out to the right side. We, we hopefully got a hold in here. But I don't know what that would be. Uh, a lot of times it would be uh, uh, you'd no. think face mask or that something or like that. that. Number one, I might have been. I don't know. Darren Jackson, he's pretty much the reason the score is six to nothing right yeah. now. Yeah, you're right. Um, it really feels nice. I'm not sure what the wind is doing to the microphones, but. Yeah. They call it holding against the jack. Holding against the jack. Yeah. That's all part of the experience. Uh, we don't have to describe to you. Man, there's a nice breeze right now. You can hear it. <laughs> six minutes to go. Still 6-0. Bogalus is up. Plenty of time. Oh. Oh. Darren Jackson uh, was the intended receiver. Fell down. Yeah, Looked like also the thrower yeah, came to the ground. Yeah. He got a little pressure there. The yeah, I, I said it was a Washington Parish championship. It's unofficial. But somebody else said that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you know, uh, Bogalusa beat Franklin. Uh, Pine don't play Franklin, but if Pine beats Bogalusa, yeah. you know, uh, uh -huh. and if Bogalusa beats Pine, they yeah, beat that's right. yeah. two other major schools. Yeah, I'd agree, I'd agree with that. We got all sides. Final timeout. Yeah, we got to mention our sponsor. I was trying to leave out the last Lane Thomas, True Homes of Walker. Tell you, if you're in the market for a pre manufactured home, what do we call them these days, Lane? Hey, wherever the customer wants to call them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the mobile home business, is what I call it. Kind right. of a new name is manufactured housing. Right. But uh, true homes of Walker will find you. And if you say, you know, I'm in the market, but I hate to even get started because of all these fancy salesmen are going to run. Hey, if you want to say, let me do business with a good old boy from Pine, who I know who his daddy and grandpa was. Get in touch with Lane. He's going to do you the best anybody would ever do you. 
you're from Washington Parish, they might have to give you a kinfolk deal, you know, for, as a Thomas, you kin the half of them. <clears throat> Levi, all Ooh. alone in the backfield. Third and 11, quarterback, keeper around the right. Oh, he was gonna make it. As for Levi on the kicking. I don't know. I mean, they they uh, feel like that there's no need for a uh, measurement. So first down, and plus Levi went out voluntarily right there. I bet he knew. I bet he knew. Yeah. Lang, uh, uh, he's that good, man. Yeah. That play was not designed for him to run the ball. Oh, that play was designed to do something over here to the left. Yeah. He still got the first down. Woo! Look at that play. Forward Great. pass. Woo! I never saw one of those. Golly. Good gracious. I was just enjoying the crowd. Just boom. All right, hey, qu qu quarterback hands it off to the running back. The running back throws it back to the quarterback, and the quarterback throws it downfield. Uh, uh, two of them, I thought, were fumbles. Uh, uh, let me tell you, that's what Ken Burns' baseball hey. documentary would call. Oh, the, I'm not sure that was a legal play. I think it was a forward pass. And the coach from Pine, I think. Let's give that Jack's offensive unit a hand. He might agree with Please. me. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Based on the reaction, uh, Caden Stogner was the one putting the pressure on Levi, and when he threw it, uh, he immediately said it was a forward pass. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I agree. He immediately yeah. saw it, but then... We just continue to call the play because you don't know what they're going to call. Right here, if you had replay, it wouldn't take 30 seconds. That'll be a good call back, too, because that really set Bogalusa up in good shape. Yeah, they got him down to That's the That's what yard. on the baseball documentary by Ken Burns, Clay, that play was what they used to call shadow ball. <laughs> You know, where they'd get out in front of the dugout for the game and, like, throw it behind their back and stuff. That's what I thought about whenever I saw that play. This week. Okay. What's he? What's he? Okay. Well, not a forward pass. You know what? There it is. Replay. Yes, sir. You can do the same thing right there at home on the live action network. Somebody wants to argue with you about it. And here's the other thing. Everybody from Pine is going to think, hey, that was a doggone forward pass. Here's what you can do. Say, look, I'm going to go ahead and bet you $20 that it was not a forward pass. <laughs> no, I'll bet you $20. How, who, who'd you talk to at news? We're going to. Pull up Live Where's Action Network and watch the replay. <laughs> replay proved it was not a forward pass. And you can do that all day. I mean, by the end of the day, you might have $240. Yeah. Seven completions, seven carries. Ashton Levi. Hey, they've been snapping him the ball here four years. Yeah. He's been the one that decides what happens on a lot of the plays. A lot of these plays are designed that he's got options of what he wants to do. Sure. Oh, yeah. Now, he's a competitor. Ball's on the ground. i tell you, man, uh, that ball. Uh, Taylor Williams on a carry. Carries inside the five-yard line. Ball will be spotted at the... Well, that's three. the kind of luck yeah. 
He wasn't on the carry till he picked up a fumble. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the kind of luck that proves the old saying. I think it's true. Luck follows speed. The that reason he was lucky <laughs> is because he was able to get over and get it yeah. on the bounce and take it. That's you right. know. That's right. Speed is why he has luck. Quarterback keeper around the right. Looks like he might get in. And it's touchdown, Lumberjack. That's the Levi for the touchdown. Good blocking on the right side of the line. I'm sure they, they can hear the uh, loudspeaker. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody can hear the PA. Yeah. I was just trying to find a right, way. That offensive unit another hand. Oh. Uh, height and weight on the. Uh, Ashton Levi, if I've ever known, I'm sure I have, I cannot remember right now. But he actually uh, bulled his way into the end zone right yeah. there. Peanut came up and met him. And I mean, Peanut a lot of times will knock uh, people's he helmet off. Yeah. And uh, when they met, uh, uh, I'd say he's 5'10", 200. I think he's 200. Oh, yeah, man. he's 5'10", 200, I believe. Going for two here. Hand off. Flag. Ethan Rester comes in, cuts the man down. Ethan Ross. Oh, no good, but there's flags on the play. Comes in to make the cleanup. 450 left for halftime. And here's the great thing about Live Action Network. Clay didn't know it until the last time we were together. Remember the whole time. time on Live Action Network, whether you're watching on TV Who's or on your that? phone, the score's on the bottom. Oh, the man, the reason yeah. that's Look big, that. you can try to remember to say the score. There's always going to be somebody who wants to know the score. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Ashton Levi, 6 foot, 190. 6 okay, foot, yeah. 190. too far off. Yeah. But I think a lot like I do, uh, Lane, you look out there at the guys and how they compare to the big ones and the little ones. And uh, when we were in high school, what is he, six foot 190? Yeah, when, when we were in high school, he would have been 5'9 and uh -huh. looked like that compared to the other one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jared Owens back to receive. That's why I look at Caden Stogner and then saw, man, he looks a lot like me playing. And he's six foot 190 pounds. Yeah. Four inches taller. Onside kick. They ain't got no kicker. You better handle it. They're going to get it again. Second one at worst. Right there. Play. And Lane, I think. The, the approach that uh, I like to take on that is uh, if I was anywhere near a bubble, I got on that ball and held it in fetal position. Yeah. Not to be funny, but. Yeah, I don't think Fyman was expecting that. Oh. You take possession of that ball because back. look, uh, what are they going to call? Against Bogalusa? So, let me ask you now, are they going to change? The, as of right now, who has the ball? Bogalusa? Bogalusa's got the ball. Yeah. I, I think thought, that, that was after the, I'm assuming after the, after they were covered in season. A lot of time on defense, but most of them, if they wasn't out there on defense, they'd be out there on offense. So defense is still more tiring. Play clock getting started. What is it you see, Clay? Back 
back, back to pass, way downfield, over through the receiver. Threw it kind of out there in the mid, in the neutral ground between the uh, the uh, short, shortest receiver and the longest receiver. Yeah. Kind of threw it where either one of them couldn't have got to it. But it was a beautiful throw. I'd yeah, love to be able to throw a football like that uh, right now. You know, uh, holidays coming up. You're going to be over, you know, some of your cousins or whatever. I'd love to be able to go out in the yard and do that. Coming up. Coming up hard to put a real uh, hammer on him was uh, James Owen, and he whipped. He passed right by him. Yeah. Now, look, one of the things tonight that you, I'm seeing out of Pine is the turnover battle. I mean, they not turn the ball over this year. Wouldn't you agree, uh, Clay, they don't turn the ball over? Bogalusa. Bogalusa has six penalties. How many personal fouls do they have? At least three. Three personal fouls on Bogalusa. That just lets you know that Bogalusa is not the Bogalusa of old because in the um, all the way up to the 90s, mid 80s and different things like that, a referee never made a call against Bogalusa. They had that took it taken care of years in advance. Quarterback back to throw. Got a little time. Golly, I cannot believe that he ended up doing that. There's going to be a flag at the end of that play. Just like, just like personal foul on Pine. DJ Garrett, personal foul. Well, over there at the sideline, I couldn't see exactly what happened, but they're going to say he was a little bit. I believe he. You guys passed the complete reception made by Leander Fletcher. What I always call that is, though, that call's called play. playing too rough. You know, because. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. Personal foul against the Raiders. Whenever I was 15 yards from the end of the run, it's first and ten. I don't know if I was a sophomore or junior, whatever. We played Bogalusa here. It was a big deal to play on this field. Sure. I remember we played here at JV. Of course, we played the B Jacks. We got back, back to throw. Overthrew him. Just a pass. Just overthrew him. But he can put the ball there. Yeah. As pretty, I mean, a beautiful yeah. foul. He can spin man. it now. He can spin it. A beautiful foul. Yeah, eight for 18 on night passing is what Clay just uh, told us. Thank you, Clay. But a lot of them were just overthrown a little bit, tipped, whatever. He's still putting on a show. Flag goes up early. Yep. That's, I don't know. I'm guessing against the offense. I don't know. No way to know for sure until you hear what the referee has to say. Franklin's in homecoming tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Legal procedure against the Jacks. Five yard penalty, replay second down. Kelvin McCain needs me to send him a link to the game. Now, dude, let me see. Fakes the little hand. Intercepted. Not fine. Ethan Rester, he's having a night. He's having a night. As Ethan Rawls also 
made the play work. All right, three minutes, 45 seconds. 12-0. It'd be great to have a score for the half. yard line y'all go ahead and just act like I'm not here I'm 60 yards to go here I'm having to send Kelvin to He has not got to break into the open tonight. I think they have enough yeah. speed so far to keep him from getting to the corner on that um, one pass that was incomplete right there. But that's a good play. Pick up a seven here. Second down three. Be nice to get that first down here. 40. Quarterback back looking. Threads the needle. Good, great pass. Preston Stogner. Hey, last year in the playoff game, before the game, somebody said, that's his doggone uh, safety blanket. Yeah. So they played together since they were babies or whatever. Good buddy. And uh, Preston Stogner, when he goes to him. Yeah. That was a great pass. It's just hey, it's a great play by that, by that defender. I mean, he broke it up. Got to give him the credit. Oh, yeah, Bogalus is not given an inch. Yeah. Quarterback down under. Bon Johnson uh, for the first down. Big, big first down there. Another thing that besides Buck Owens that I found out, you know, our, our tailback, Von Johnson. I'm, oh, yeah, Von Johnson used to play with the Saints. Hardly anybody knew, uh, you know, from his own patrol. Yep. Yeah. One them, Von Johnson. One of them, them four linebackers. All pro. Yeah. All right, quarterback under. Back to pass. Getting pressure. Pass himself a little bit. Now he got tipped a little bit. Flag. Well, I believe, we in, got, I believe we got roughing the passer here. Well, I was gonna, if it was the I, NFL, it would be roughing. Yeah, passer. I believe he got up, up around the head area, maybe even face mask. But. Well, that's going to be still a big play then. Fine. It's going to be a first down. 15 yards. Yes. 12 zip score. Yep, that's going to give us a big first down. Yeah, it gets us down to the 32, 33 yard line. We got two minutes, 37 seconds. We need a big play here. We got two wide out. To the right. Johnson in the backfield. Quarterback back to throw. Got a man wide open. Heck of a catch by DJ Garrett. DJ, touchdown Hunters. That was a good That's catch. Man. That's a great catch. Great man. Oh, yeah. He's funny. That's just right out the there. Needed there. But the, the pass was a little high. It's a, it's a great catch. But DJ yeah. Garrett goes he, he got up, up, he got up and got both hands yeah. on it. And he made a move on the DB to, to get around yeah. and score. That was a great play. All right, we need to this is more sheer than hey, Old well, Faithful. Hey, well, hey. Yeah. Don't. All right, don't say that anymore. <laughs> See, I just punch it. That's perfect, right down the middle. I mean, you know, I've seen guys come out and muscle it and go over that scoreboard. <laughs> but where you make your money as a high school coach is having somebody can punch that PAT through. That's right. For That's right. Yep. Big deal. All right. 2.30 to go. Second quarter. 
to half. 12-7, Lumberjacks still up. Big score by the Raiders. You know, I was just thinking about it. A fact I've never seen him miss. Pine literally could get somebody next year to take his place that was going to be the next Morton Anderson. But he still couldn't beat his PAT success. Yeah. Period. I mean, you know. You can only go downhill from here in the kicking department. That's the bad yeah. news. All right, Raiders stop them here. May have a little time. May get a field goal before four and a half. I'm trying to get us a Franklin's and high score. Very well could be an onside. I'm going to tell you right now, Bogalooch has tried it twice. They did it once to us start the game, and both have been successful. It kicks off. Back down from the seven, running it back. Make turn up to the 25-yard line. Michael Burton on the return. Now, I don't know exactly what they might have called right there. <laughs> I mean, I was watching that play. Yeah, flag on the play there. I don't. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Unless it might have been a face mask or. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the returner, Michael Burton. A sideline warning against the Jacks. He showed exceptional speed, especially for his size, and uh, that's what caused Caden Stogner to miss on the tackle. Michael Burton yeah. on the oh. return. He left his feet to make tackle at precisely the second that most people are there. Yeah. And by the time he got there, yeah. the guy was gone. Bogalus has got some speed on the team for sure. 12 uh, 7, I'm protecting impressed. a five point uh, lead. We need to hold him here. Had to go to the sideline, drop the cigarette. Quarterback back to throw. He lost a shoe. Wide open. Number 13. Peanut on the tackle. Hey, he just buys time. If we hadn't said that, Bogus, the quarterback's pretty good. He just buys time. He bought time till that guy uh, got open. Why? He was pretty wide open. And look, all three of us and a lot of people at home is going to know what it's like to play football well, in the backyard. Yeah. If you don't have a count or a rush yeah. on that quarterback yeah. and he can just stand there unlimited amount of time, there's no way you can cover no. whoever you're yeah. covering. That's what he does. Yeah. He, Quarterback up, keeper up the middle there. Gain of two. Ethan Rawls. Is, Ethan Rawls is telling him a secret. Second and goal. I don't know if you, uh, not to be immodest, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you've ever seen that reel on. Uh, my Facebook uh, uh, when Maverick uh, did, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, dude. Turn the quarterback from Tri County into gas, dude. All that was left was ash. <laughs> and then he yeah. stayed on top of him. All right, here's the quarterback snap. back to throw. What a route! Ooh, he just didn't make. That was a great back shoulder throw. It was on a great we, route. That was a double move on that route, man. And the receiver dropped it. Look. Yeah. No yeah. timeouts. Good yeah. point, Clay. Yeah. No timeouts from Bogalusa. Yeah. So, if the Raiders tackle them, you want to keep them in bounds. They yeah. can't afford. You don't see many back shoulder throws in high school, but that was a good one. 
He just dropped the ball. For people that even know what it is. <laughs> Quarterback keeper on the right. No gain. Let me tell you right now, man. It don't matter what the blocking scheme is or whatever. We're at an angle right now, and you at home are too, to where you could see that play develop, and you could see the actual point at which Ashton Levi had to decide if he was going to give that ball to the Bring back or keep it. And let me tell you, he was going to keep that no matter yeah. what. The game is on the yep. line on these plays. All right, fourth down, ball on the six-yard line. Big play here. We need to hold them. I think Whistle. Coach Bradley might have got a timeout in. Trying to get a timeout there, it looks like. Timeout ready. 31 Got seconds left. Like to thank in a close the game, a big yeah. game. Not only, Lane, are they cross the parish rivals, they're in the same district. Yeah, big game for either one. I mean, let me I mean, let me be perfectly honest. Whenever they reconfigured the district, and uh, it was announced what uh, district Pine was going to be in. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! Uh, my kids were still in school, and Stephen McKenzie's kids were all in school, and yeah. you know the McKenzie's were big Pine folk. Oh yeah. I said, dude, I hope y'all didn't order up too many of those. Letterman jacket patches that says district champ. <laughs> because by the time y'all wear one of those, they're going to be rotten. <laughs> but I'll be doggone, man. Yeah. Coach Bradley put together a team. He's doing a heck of a job. That's like, if not the top team in the parish, I mean, you know, this year, with all due credit to all the other schools. Here we go. Fourth down, quarterback keeper around the right side. He's going to back left. He may throw, he's back to his goal throw. Got it. Touchdown, Jack. That was a, one more time. That quarterback's pretty good. He's good. That receiver just kind of took it away from their defender there. That was a great play by the receiver also. You know, that was the same guy that caused that fumble, fumble. and then made the big run. Yeah. He is having a great he, He's an athlete. He, yeah. he, he's an athlete. He. On both sides of the ball. But uh, Levi did all the tricks right there. It, it was a run play to the right. Yeah. And he comes back just to midfield and finds somebody open and throws it. Yeah. Going for two. They ran the left side. I'm going to tell you, man. Sometimes he just tries stuff to see if it'll work. Because right there. He was going to go into the end zone just based on his momentum and size. And he tried, I think he actually tried out a move oh, on Peanut over there. Because when he got to him, he did a little Sammy Davis Jr. thing. He didn't even have to do. It just comes natural to him, man. And I do believe, just from what I've seen, that he takes being the quarterback serious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you have real good quarterbacks. So a lot of times so if somebody says, boy, Bo Glutz has got an awesome quarterback, immediately you think, yeah, I bet he could probably run for four, five, forty, and throw the ball 100 yards, and that's probably what he does. But this guy throws it short, intermediate, yeah. accurate. Well. Look for that onside kick again here. Bogalusa has a tradition of having good 
quarterbacks. I mean, even the ones that nobody's heard of has always been the headliner on their yeah, team. Well, you know? I don't know if you remember Buddy Lundy. Yeah, he was Butter. a pretty good one there back in the day. Yeah. I played on team against uh, Butter. I think my 10th grade year. Yeah. Lloyd Connolly and them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. And then we played them in baseball. And talk about swag. That was before swag had even been invented. <laughs> he got off the baseball bus wearing a pair of slip-on mules, slippers. <laughs> And warmed up like that, throw, and then put his cleats on. He played center. He played shortstop about ten paces in the left center on the grass. Yeah. And stood uh, when the ball was being pitched with his hands on each hip, not ready, you would think. And he could cover it from left field to center field, yeah. man. Hey. He was a freakish athlete. He's a NFL talent. Now, Raji McGee, who was his classmate, Bruce Plummer and Sean Smith, all three of those guys from that senior class played in the NFL. Yeah. Two of them, the Plummer and Sean Smith, have Super Bowl rings. Under the direction of Mr. Tan in the same graduating oh, class. You know, and then Butter just kind of got sidetracked somehow, but he was the SEC player of the week one week as a true freshman in, in a win over LSU. I do remember that one. Yeah, the, their starter, uh, Sleepy Floyd, I think was the Mississippi State starter, and he was injured. So he had to step up and start that. It was his first start of the year against LSU. You know, it's got to be your biggest natural rival. Oh, yeah. Against the Raiders. You would have went to LSU, too, if they would have asked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but evidently they didn't. And, and he beat them by himself. That's how good Butter Lundy was. 17 seconds. Coach Bradley? Coach Bradley? Coach Bradley. He was upset about something. Let's go there, Mike. Unsportsmanlike. Might have been on the sideline. 18-7, going to be another onside kick. Yep, Pine got it. Good job recovering the ball. Stogner goes up and catches it on the true bounce. If he's ever played any baseball and was any good or instructed at all, you know that he knows you come up and catch it on that good bounce. Don't let it bounce one more time. What well, was it now, Lane? You had a thought? No, we're good. 17 seconds here. We'll see. He's probably going to run the clock out. I, I don't know. He got a couple of them wide out here. One I think we're going to nail on it there. I believe we are. That's what I do. Yeah. I like that. I do, too. Look, we're down only by two scores. Yeah. Half time, yeah. Bogalusa 20, Raiders 7. Yeah, two scores is right. Two scores will put you up 21 20. We're going to step aside as commentators for halftime. <coughs> Let you enjoy the halftime entertainment. Bogalusa High School Band is a show you don't want to miss. We'll be back at the beginning of the third quarter. Thank you. 